Hello and welcome to Powerbench. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Griffin Reserve Powerbank. Uh, once again I bought this from Sainsbury's with the cables that I reviewed yesterday. And uh, it cost me £15.99. Um, normally supermarket you know, power banks and cables are more expensive than, than buying them online. But they do have the advantage that you can pick them up the same day if you need them. Um, this is a comes in a reasonably nice box. It claims 6,000 mAh capacity. And it states that it's pre-charged and ready to use. It would be interesting to see what the actual reserve capacity is, but I would hope that the standby drain on this is reasonably low. Um, it also claims max rate tablet and phone charging. Uh, so I think somewhere there's a spec. Yep, power output 12, 5 volts at 2.4 amps. So. It's a bit of a misleading figure to say maximum max rate because a lot of any modern smartphones that do USB PD or Quick Charge 3 uh, can also ask for the voltage stepped up and they will uh, that will deliver more power. I think Quick Charge 3 is 18 watts, um, whereas this max is out at 12, but it's a good start. I mean, if it delivers for uh, 2.4 amps reliably then that's good. Uh, it also claims, remembering that, micro USB charge cable included. So it'll be interesting to see how that compares with the Griffin micro USB cable, that one, that I reviewed yesterday. It'd be funny if it's the same cable. Uh, right, let's have a look inside the box. There's some um, little hanging bracket thing is Needlessly engineered, I think. Griffin branded. Um, could have saved a few pens there. So, let's open the sticker. Standard plastic see through tray. Uh, nothing else in the box. Let's get rid of that. Uh, so, we've got a micro USB cable that, in fact, looks suspiciously like. Um, well, maybe not. No, it's a bit different. It's very short. It's like 30 centimetres, maybe even less. Probably no bad thing. If it really is claiming... Yeah, it's 30 centimetres, so just over 30... About 32 centimetres from tip to tip. Um, that's fine if it... It's delivering 2.4 amps generally, the shorter the better if you unless you've got a very nice quality cable. Um seems okay, there's almost no strain relief on this. Let me see if I can uh, let's just adjust the focus. There we go. Um so you can see it comes I mean it, there's almost no movement there at this end a little bit so the USB end has a bit of movement but uh, don't expect this cable to last for a huge amount of time with heavy use but it's power bank cable it is what it is um, if we compare that to the one I bought just for the sake of completeness you can see that actually the strain relief is different So the bought one actually has proper strain relief, uh, but they're very similar style apart from that. So it's just a cheap cable. But that's fine. Um, so the power bank itself, we unbox that. There's a another Australian warranty policy. Safety instructions and what the warranty does not cover. Fine. So the power bank itself um, rattles slightly. I think it's this. Oh, it's the button. The button rattles. Mildly annoying. Um, on the bottom, input 5 volt 2 amps, output 5 volt 2.4 amps, capacity 6000 milliamp hours. 21.6 watt hours 
made in China. It's got the right spacing for the CE mark, which doesn't really mean much, but it annoys me when they get it wrong. Single USB port for output and a micro USB port for input, and quite a sizable power button. And there's four lights on top. Let's press the button. <laughs> so when it says it comes fully charged, pre charged, ready to use. Uh, what that means is one blob out of four. So that's pretty disappointing. I think if you bought this in a hurry because your phone was flat, you'd be very disappointed. Um, so, not a great start there. Um, but it feels okay in the hand. It's it's quite a nice size, actually. It's not too heavy. How heavy is it? Hundred and seventy six grams. Hundred and seventy seven, I suppose, rounding up. Um so it's okay weight wise, it's not not the lightest thing to carry around. But it's not ridiculous either. Um so I guess the first thing to test then is the output. It doesn't automatically turn on when you insert something. If I press the power button. So I think my voltage is dropping already. It might just be that it's not very well charged up. So if I'm, I'm going to get to 2.4 volts. Uh, 4.29 volts. That's not good enough, even slightly good enough. Um, whether or not that's because it's empty, oh and it's powered off. So this thing, that claim, pre-charged and ready to use, is nonsense. That's very disappointing for a supermarket product. Um, that's not good enough, you, you'd expect better than that. Um, so I'm going to charge this up then and resume the test later. So just to uh, have a look at some interesting things while it's charging. Um, if I angle this right, you can see the first white blob is flashing. I assume the number of lit up blobs will increase as the um, charged up capacity goes. Um, and it's drawing one and a half amps from, I'm using the good anchor cable as well because I don't know how good the cable uh, in the meter is so what I'm going to do is plug in my little meter and let's reset the count so that's reading 0 milliamp hours, 0 milliwatt hours um, and then I'm going to so again it's, it's only drawing one point Three amps, which is um, a touch disappointing, given it claims it can do charge at two amps. Um, and I'll leave that be and see what happens. Uh, so I cramped up the voltage slightly to bring it up to 5.0 volts at the socket, um, given the power loss in this cable is relatively minimal. Uh, and it's stabilised at 1.65 amps charging now, so that's okay. It seems to be recharged. Um, the status lights did indeed go up one at a time. Uh, it looks like they go out after a little while when it's charged. We press the power button. All four lit up. Um, looking at the meter, um, you can't really see the red very well. Uh, 5,659 milliamp hours at 5 volts uh, or 28.5 watt hours um, this does actually have a figure which will almost certainly be the milliamp hour figure times by 3.7 6,000 milliamp hours Let's just double check it. 
6,000 times by 3.7 Ah, interesting, they're counting a slightly lower figure, so, let's see, 21.6. Uh, let's do 21,600, divide by 6,000. They say 3.6 volts. Uh, interesting, not the normal, but fine. So, uh, it's put in 28.5 watt-hours to charge a 21.6 watt hour battery which, and there's some loss in the conversion but fine um, so now I guess we can go back to testing uh, so unplugged it's now showing all four charge lights lit hopefully it can do 2.4 amps this time Four point seven seven volts. It's okay. That's pretty uninspiring. I mean, it's solidly under. That's a pretty solid connection here. Yeah. It's solidly under five volts, which, when you consider that you've got um, cable losses on top of that, uh, well, that's a good time to test the cable that came with it. So. Once again, we shall use the meter. Now this should be five volts. Yep. Um, for the sake of consistency, let's test this at two point one amps, like I have all the other cables. So 5 volts, 2.1 amps at the port. Put the cable in. Four point seven nine volts, so point two one volts. Uh, which is not terrible, actually. It's not amazing. Um, it is a short cable, but it's respectable. 0 0.21 divided by 5 times 100, 4.2%, um, which is better than some cables were tested. Uh, so, what is it at 2.4 amps? Point two five volts. Which is five percent. So uh, it's okay. Could be a lot worse. But it does mean if you're running this power bank, which is only outputting is it four point eight, something like that. Plus this cable at two point four amps actually not getting it's going to be something like 4.6 or less 4.5 volts uh, so slightly high 4.5 volts to your device at 2.4 amps which is not brilliant um, any device that takes 2.4 Aside from the power loss, which is, I um, mean, it's ten percent of the output going away, um, it's probably going to take a little while to charge. Even if it completes, it might be that at 
4.5 volts it's not a high enough voltage for some devices to finish charging so they get to like 80 or 90 percent they'll never get any higher which um, clearly is not ideal um, so I guess the next question then is what does this advertise electrically Okay, so 2.7 volts on the D plus and minus pins, which is correct. That's the Apple 2.4 amp advertisement, the same as this does. Um, so it does advertise it can do 2.4 amps, which is good. Um, that's something at least. Um, let's Let's see what it'll go up to as a maximum. Oh, just over two and a half amps. So that's that then. Um, okay, so it does seem to work as advertised. The cable is not complete rubbish, um, but the voltage drops a little bit. It's not great. I'd be expecting a steady five volts. I mean, for it not to do that. even at 2.1 amps, which is relatively common. It's disappointing. That's uh, probably not going to be recommending this one. But uh, we'll see how the capacity test goes. Um, but for that, I need to recharge it. And then I will come back. Right, this is fully charged, it's just trickling in a tiny amount of current now. Uh, 12 milliamps, virtually nothing. So, we'll unplug that, reset the count to zero on the little meter. Start the oscilloscope recording. So I'm going to pop this up so it's sort of visible. It's not brilliant, but it'll do. Uh, okay. I'm going to run this at 2.4 amps because that's what it claims it can deliver. Even though the voltage at that is disappointingly low. Uh, right, 2.38. 2.39, good enough. Um, Alright, let's leave it to it and see what happens. I wasn't around when this ran out, um, but looking over the, the video, uh, it was well under 4 volts by the time it finally cut off. Um, and it was not the normal, you know, last few percent the voltage massively drops off. Consistently across the range, it's been decreasing uh, until the battery ran out, which is absolutely shocking. Um, that's a piss poor performance. Um, in terms of the power capacity, so I don't think there should be enough. Oh, there's enough to light it up. Uh, 19,246 milliwatt hours or 4,206 milliampere hours at 5 volts. 
Um, I always take the milliwatt hour value because it uh, accounts for the voltage change. Um, but if we take 19246 divide by, and the capacity claimed on the bottom was. Uh, 21.6 watt hours, 21,600 times by 100, claims to be 89% uh, efficient, um, however, this meter, I mean, even at, even when it was fully charged, it was outputting significantly less than 5 volts, so USB is nominally 5 volts, uh, plus or minus 0.25 of a volt, so 5%. Um, so 4.75 would be okay, but it only really started at that when it was fully charged. Towards the end, it was only outputting 4 volts, and when you account for another, say, 5% loss in the cable, uh, the one that came with it at, at 2.4 amps was losing 5%. Um, so if you lose another uh, 0.2 volts in the cable, that's 3.8 volts uh, at the micro USB end. Um, which is, I mean, it's so far off spec, it's just not funny. Um, so this thing um, is absolute garbage, basically. Let's focus. Come on. Idiot device. Um, yeah, so it's it's rubbish. Um, I think I'm going to return this because it came from a supermarket. Um, it's not as advertised. The pre-charged ready-to-use claim is nonsense. Um, it specifically states max rate tablet and phone charging. Well, it is only outputting four volts. Certainly, well under four and a half for half of the, the charging time. Then it's, it clearly isn't going to do that. So this thing just doesn't work. Um, I will overlay a quick chart of what the uh, voltage over the time was because um, I've got that logged um, and I'll also uh, overlay a picture of the, the final readings um, the only good thing was that it did cut off nice and cleanly when it ran out um, but to be honest that's it, there's so much wrong with this that it's not even worth considering so Griffin, 6,000 milliamp per hour reserve power bank from Sainsbury's. Do not buy. Absolutely shocking. Thank you for watching this Powerbench video. Uh, please subscribe for more making of videos uh, if you enjoyed them. If you don't, there's also a website at powerbend.ch where you can read a summary of each review without having to watch the full length video. Uh, there'll be a link to that in the description of this video. I also have a link to my Patreon account. Um, if you can support, help support this channel by uh, you know, tipping a, a couple of dollars a month my way, uh, that helps me to buy more power, ben power, power banks like this terrible device here. Uh, I do buy all of the power banks and accessories out of my own pocket. I don't accept any review samples to ensure that the reviews remain completely unbiased. Um, so, in you know, any way that you can support the channel will be uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, thank you for watching, and bye for now.